Welcome to circuitadvisor.com. I want to take you through a short tour of the site of some of the videos that we have on the membership side. Uh, the videos take the form of narrated sets of slides, tutorials, or live experiments. And I want to show you some of the live experiments. I have four short video clips to show you. And uh, hopefully this will give you an idea of what you can see in the membership section. So the first one has to do with an issue with four layer board layouts that causes as much as a 50 dB increase in noise on the board. So again, these are short 30 second clips out of videos that are maybe 10, 15, sometimes 20 minutes long, uh, just to give you a flavor of them. So start with our first one. Other than that, the same, but now as we zoom in on the spectrum analyzer again, look what happened. We went from about 35 dB microvolts here, and there was a little peak to about 45 or so. 10, 20, 30, 40, and it's slightly off the scale here, so it's more than 40 dB higher. And that frequency is about 240 megahertz. Now let's look at a, a second video having to do with the resonant frequencies of cable, system cables and how that might relate to electromagnetic compatibility issues. What you see is a pattern on the screen here. If we can zoom in on the screen, we can see current peaks. These are the resonance of the power wire here. Those peaks come at the frequencies where if there were noise trying to, high frequency noise coming off this board, they could, it could drive current down that cable, the other half the antenna being the circuit board itself. Now let's look at a, a short clip having to do with the magnetic fields coming off of switching power supplies, how that can couple on to cables uh, and form an emissions problem. And then uh, right after that, immediately after that, a short, uh, very short clip on uh, recognizing uh, the noise source on the spectrum analyzer as coming from a switching power supply. I'm going to take this wire from the current probe now, and I'm going to let it drape over the power supply. And we can hear some sirens out there, something's going on outside. And now it's just right over the power supply and you can see, all of a sudden we get this big hump of noise. And let me uh, suspend it above the power supply. Here's above the power supply, maybe an inch or two, still a lot of noise, about 20 dB above class B kind of radiated emissions problems. Just by spreading it out to one megahertz or maybe two, and with a very narrow resolution bandwidth, I can pick out, ah, it is switching power supply harmonics. And finally, we have a short clip on noise coupling from the top of an integrated circuit into a nearby cable, inducing enough current to also cause an emissions problem. Similar to the switching power supply, but now it's a small IC. And in this case, uh, just a little HC240 oscillator that I use in my seminars. So let's take a look at this. Watch what happens when I bring this wire and lay it over top of the chip. You see now, and if we zoom in on the display there, so that we can get a good view there, uh, those peaks, let me hold with one hand on here so I can point. These peaks here, you see it peaking up right there. That's the resonant frequency of this wire, original wire is a dipole. Well, thanks for joining me for these uh, short clips. Again, they're 15, 20, 30 seconds out of a 15 minute video typically. And just to give you a feeling for the kinds of experiments I do and the kinds of data that I have in these experiments. There are many, many of these videos and more coming all the time on the membership section. So I hope you'll join us. And, uh, and watch these videos. Again, thanks for watching this short video, and we hope to see you in the membership section. Thanks.